Everybody is pumped up. We got a police escort from the rec center, all the cars done up, and it was on. We like ended up getting a touchdown, and then at, towards the end of like the half, I got a pick, which is an interception, and then another touchdown happened because we turned the ball over, and then we ran outside and then got stopped at like the one, and then we uh, did like a pass into the touchdown, and then we got to 16. The interception was the big part of the game. They call it a screen pass, so like it was a bit really big play that uh, Norwell did, and they our coaches were preparing us for that, and so then. I like came out and I knew that that like that was uh, coming to me because they had no pressure on me. Yep, I was ready for that ball. <clears throat> yeah, we were all kind of happy. We kind of celebrated a little, and we went back. We went into like a huddle with the other team. We were, like separate, and then they handed us our Pembroke kids, older kids. They uh, handed us our trophy. The coaches are probably the best. The coaches knew going in that we were going to have a, a tough time beating this crew of kids, of Norwell kids. And they just prepared harder. They showed up, executed every single time, every single play. They knew what was going on because of just their mental toughness, their physical toughness, and them just doing their job. They teach us about, like, how to be like how to not bully people and how to like just do life, I guess. So we have a uh, middle play requirement for each kid that is rostered on the varsity team. So every kid is required to play at least nine plays in the game, which not all teams do, but we try to do it. Not even try to, we do do it every week. And uh, it's, it's really good that you know, that's in there because those kids practice hard all week and they all deserve plays.